I got to this research over quite a long time, I think, the trajectory. Um, when I was in high school, actually, I had this wonderful history teacher, Mr. Powell, uh, who is this uh, kind of left-wing social historian really interested in people's histories from the bottom up. He used to actually jump on the tables and uh, start shouting a government for the people, by the people. He got really animated and I think that really inspired me um, to do history but also people's history, um, telling history from, from the bottom up, from the people. And then later on during my master's, my undergraduate, when I started to think more about museums and the stories they tell, um, that all kind of coalesced to bring me where I am now, thinking about museums and empire, post-colonialism and power. So broadly speaking, my research is about museums as a site for examining the impact of empire and decolonization on culture, museums in the 20th and 21st century. And specifically, I'm looking at the Museum of London. London is a very diverse, messy urban environment, and it needs to be inclusive and to represent that in a very authentic way. And it hasn't always done that. Um, and in the 1990s, it begins to change and it starts to think about how to make more multicultural, inclusive histories and to represent that urban diversity better. It's contemporary history, so I'm, I'm really looking at the past 20, 30 years, and methodologically, there isn't a great deal of archival material, um, or at least that's accessible. So a lot of my research is focused on interviews with um, former uh, curators and staff members at the museum, and people who have worked on some of these exhibitions and projects. So a big part of my research has been collecting those interviews. So what I've got here is the catalogue from the exhibition that I'm looking at for my PhD. And really what this shows is this is the first time that the Museum of London really engages with multiculturalism and immigration and its importance to London. Um, and it ends up dealing with some more difficult topics it hasn't dealt with before, like slavery. So we can see here there's a picture of a slave in the service of James Drummond, uh, the Duke of Perth. So this is really the first time they start to engage with things like this. The reason I think this research is important to other people, specifically the way that I'm conducting this research, so looking at a museum and how they've tried to be more inclusive over time, is it provides case studies and a roadmap for thinking through how museums can do that, where they're fallen short, the lessons we can learn, um, and thinking into the future how better we can serve diverse communities and representing them and making sure that they're included or feel included uh, in culture. Research is obviously a very, you know, it's a very privileged um, thing to do. You know, you really get to spend time thinking through things that you really love and are important to you and hopefully important to other people. So it is, you know, I feel very privileged to do it, but of course, like many things in life, um, there are frustrations and, and, and pitfalls, especially with a long project. And I think with a project over three years, four years, or if you're part-time, there's always a period in which you tend to kind of slump and hit, you know, hit the, the trough rather than the peak. And, um, and it really helps to be quite resilient, but we've got a great support network here at the OU. We've got great colleagues, and I think that helps to um, you know, vent some of those frustrations. And, and there's a real cohort and collegiality. It's allowed me to really pursue something I'm passionate about and, and develop my ideas and my thinking, and actually develop confidence. I think that's the one thing that um, perhaps people don't think about or overlook with a PhD journey. You learn a lot of hard and soft skills, and you improve as a researcher, um, but it's the confidence that it gives you to be, um, to, um, feel like you have something to say and to join in with conversations and to have a point of view. Um, I think working within museums and helping to think through ways in which we can make them more inclusive and make them represent the messy urban environment a little bit more authentically and honestly, that would be what I'd like to do. Um, how? I'm not so sure yet, but you know, I'm excited to find out. <laughs>